Hey guys, it's uh, Tuesday morning and we're here at Volusia County Animal Services with another little cutie here. Let's see if I can get him. Yeah, he's been showing up to my feral colonies to get fed for the past week. And he's a real sweetheart and he lets you pet him. And um, I'm wondering if he doesn't belong to someone, but... You know him he's very hungry in the morning he's the most starving cat in the colony so it doesn't look like he's getting fed he's not fixed and i'm gonna get him fixed today and check him for see if he's got any kind of microchip and um i might try to uh hold on to him for a little extra time and see if we can get him adopted uh, because it doesn't seem like he's got a home and he looks pretty skinny so yeah we'll see what happens with him and okay well they wouldn't accept the cat because he was in a carrier so I had to take an hour out of my day and drive home and put him in a transfer cage so we're on our way back and uh Hopefully this will be good enough and we'll get them done. Okay, so we got her home and she looks really thin. I think she's a bit underfed and she, I gave her two whole cans of cat food when she got home. She just couldn't wait to eat those. So she's definitely hungry. She didn't have a microchip and she was not fixed and she ended up being pregnant they told me but she got pregnant now and this little cat is just a lovable cat he'll sit right on my lap let's see if i can get him get her up here yeah she got love it she's a little sweetheart so I really don't know if I want to put her back at the colony because she doesn't seem like she has a home. I've seen her there all week and she's waiting there for food. She seems to be starving. You can kind of tell, tell her by the shape of her body that she's really skinny. And... I'd like to put her up for adoption. Um, and I'm going to keep her around for a few days and make, make her comfortable and see if we can find a good home for her. Or if she did have a home, I mean, it seems like she's been socialized to like, to, you know, be friendly to humans. But I just can't imagine why she's at the feral cat colony waiting for food. So, I'm just going to assume she doesn't have a home. And if she did, they weren't doing their res responsible thing by getting her spayed and microchipped. They didn't put a collar on her. And she's not really well fed so that's it that's it for her i'm gonna call her i haven't decided what i'm gonna call her yet i was calling her tigger but yeah I'll just call her tigger that's a boy's name but i'm calling you tigger yeah mama cat all right you guys that's it for mama cat Keep you updated on what happens with her. And I'll talk to you guys on the next one.